The seven investigators have triggered new legislation designed to close gaping holes in the state's mental health code. As we've reported, they've been blamed for the deaths of scores of mentally ill men and women, but key reforms are now on the horizon. Now, seven investigator Ross Jones has these major developments. All those in favor will rise. House Bill 4674 was introduced this month without fanfare or even a press conference. But if it becomes law, it could finally deliver on a broken promise made more than a decade ago. Frankly, I think your series has had a lot to do with this because it's put a human face on all the things we've been saying for all these years. Over the past year, we've done more than a dozen reports profiling the men and women failed by Michigan's mental health system. Several stories follow the plight of Bill Becker, who sought help under Kevin's law. Some days I can't even function. The law was passed in 2005 to create mental health treatment that had never existed before. Long-term outpatient care lasting no less than six months. It was designed to hold mental health providers accountable for ensuring that patients stayed well long after they left the hospital. The law allowed judges to order services like a case manager to oversee a patient's care and regular therapy sessions too. But as we discovered, in virtually every Michigan courtroom, the law had never been used. Here in Genesee County, I've had zero petitions ever filed under Kevin's law. Never been used in Kalamazoo County. After our reports, Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly convened a special task force to understand why the law was such a failure. There are plenty of reasons, from being overly complicated, misunderstood, and underfunded. The task force came up with dozens of ways to strengthen the law, and those changes are found in this bill. Current law requires a serious incident like an arrest to occur before Kevin's law can be ordered. But under this legislation, that would change, allowing a family member to request treatment before someone's in crisis. It allows for earlier intervention at a point where a person is not yet in that crisis point where they're already, uh, where already have perhaps done some irreparable harm. And for the first time, judges will be able to order treatment under the law without having to receive a petition. A lot of these times there's warning signs that our system hasn't been very good at picking up on or no noticing or at least acting upon. And as our investigation has shown, just because Kevin's law is used doesn't mean mental health officials know how to use it. Last year, Bill Becker was the first person to ever receive Kevin's Law treatment in St. Clair County. But mental health providers were confused over what to do when Becker fell out of compliance. Only a few months after receiving treatment, he died. Citing that example, the lieutenant governor has budgeted money to hire new staff whose full-time job will be to ensure mental health providers understand how the law should work. I think this will really give the, uh, our, our communities, our families, and our legal system the ability to, to really pick up on those uh, warning signs and do something about it. The bill's sponsor, Representative Tom Leonard from DeWitt, says he expects wide support in both the House and Senate. Taking care of mental illness early saves money. It reduces hospitalization costs. It reduces incarceration costs. It reduces the human toll. And finally, after all this time, I, I get the sense something's going to happen. House Bill 4674 has been referred to the Committee on Health Policy. It is expected to receive its first hearing as soon as July. Now, if, Roth, if there's any doubt that you really got the ball rolling on this, we just got a tweet uh, I just noticed here from Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly. Uh, there it is. You can see it says, uh, thank you, Ross Jones 7 and WXYZ Detroit for your critical work in bringing attention to this issue. Well, and he ought to be commended, too, because he took action as soon as these problems came to light. Uh, there's a lot that needs to be done here. There will be some skeptics with mm -hmm. this legislation, but, uh, you know, something needs to happen. Yeah, the only thing that can't happen is nothing. Nothing. Right well, you got this ball rolling. Uh, it's been about a year you've been doing this right here. How quickly can we expect something to happen? You know, uh, they're going to have a hearing next month. Uh, I would expect that they hope to have something done before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. But, again, there's going to be some people. Anytime you're going to make it easier for government to order hearings and order you to be treated uh, in a certain way, they make that easier. There ought to be some skepticism. But, again, Again, the only thing that can happen here is nothing. Something has to be done. Great work.